Oh, I want to know this one. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Go ahead. Steve Coonan asks, what was Holden's girlfriend on the Canterbury going to say to him before the ship blew up? I want to know this one. Okay, so there's two answers to this. Should I? I'll do them both. <laughs> the joke answer is that she was going to tell Holden that she had been sleeping with Shed, um, that she'd been cheating on him with Shed. The, the real I, I answer... Actually, oh, good. Go ahead. The real before answer... Before you get to the real answer... To, tell me your thing. Hurry up, Wes. I feel like I feel like you and I are having an Avicerala second husband or first husband moment <laughs> when she's trying to talk and there's a time delay. Um, somebody wrote online that she was <laughs> she's like Holden, I have the clap. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got it from Shed. <laughs> okay, go ahead. the The real answer is you don't get to know, and you don't get to know in the same way that Holden doesn't get to know because. The tragedy of losing somebody in a moment like that is all of the things that will never be said, that will never be known, that that leave the lingering doubts and and thoughts for the rest of your life about what they were going to do before they were taken from you. Um, I think answering the question sucks all of the power out of it. I think the fact of the question is what's powerful. Do you know, though? Like, do you know in your mind? Uh, no. Okay. So I think I think admitting that you don't have the answer, that it's just a question that's unanswerable, sucks the power out of it. How do you like them apples? All right, well, uh, yeah, but but I'm I'm the one who's smart who makes a TV show. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, no. But the rea- the rea- the reality is, uh, I didn't write that script. Mark and Hawk wrote that script. They may have had an idea of what she was going to say. Um, when they wrote it, but I like that they never told us. I like that they left it an open question. I think the question is what's powerful. And the people are like, she was going to tell him she was pregnant. I, one, that's like the worst version of that because that's like so cliche. But second of all, no, she wouldn't tell him she's pregnant because she clearly doesn't take their relationship all that seriously. And two, if you work and live on a spaceship, you would be fucking on point with your birth control. Nobody wants to get pregnant on a spaceship. So, no, she wasn't going to say she was pregnant. Guys, guess what? A special guest, the captain, came up to check on things, make sure, make sure I was uh, – whatever. Uh, so, Ade, <laughs> so right before, right before your ex-girlfriend, Ade, the reason she's your ex because she got blown up. Right. But the, right before she blew up, she was about to tell you something on the Canterbury. Everybody is wanting to know, do you, what do you think it is? I know what it is. Ty told us, but I want to know what you think it is. You know what it is? Yeah, Ty told us. Oh, shit. Yeah. What do you think it is? I always thought that she was going to tell him that she loved him. That would mm. make Interesting. Sense. But I, Interesting. That would make I, sense. Yeah, I, I, because it, you know, it, he, she kind of rejects him. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. you know, pretty harshly there for a minute. And then, I don't know, I, I thought that maybe she just wanted to tell him she loved him before she went. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, what, that's what, I like that what one. That's a good the one. answer? <laughs> that's a good one. So, we'll go so, with that one. What if, what, if, what if she was like, <laughs> what if she's like, Holden, I got to tell you something. I got to tell you, I still don't love you. She <laughs> 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 was just like, it was never going to happen. It was never going to happen, Holden. You yeah. should know that. Know that. <laughs> know that before I go. Now you can move on. <laughs> and I have the clap. Well, that, that was, but that's, but that's the real answer is that she was going to tell Holden that she got the clap from Shed and he should get checked. Right, yeah. right, right. There, there's medication that he needs to go get yeah. a prescription for. Yeah. yeah. Right, sure. And, and it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be really awkward when you go ask Shed for the clap cream because he's, he's, the, be like, he's the one oh, that gave Ade. it to her. <laughs> you don't know anything about the clap. You don't get cream. You do you in the future, antibiotics, bro. No, in the future you get cream. The future you get cream. It's future cream. It's future, it's future cream. cream. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure that Wes's days in the Navy means he knows way more about the clap than I do. I'm sure that's true. <laughs> so Scott Callison asks, Stephen, is the name Rasinante taken from the Rush song Cygnus X One? No. Yeah. But that's really clever. That is um, that is the correct answer, Stephen. Is Good it? Job. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I thought so. I was like, <laughs> although I, the, you know, I'm not, not opposed to rush or anything. I mean, like it's, yeah. um, yeah. but no, it's not, it's not from a rush song. No, it's not. It's, uh, I would say rather that Neil Peart and I have the same influences. We both like Cervantes. Cervantes. <laughs>